Hi everyone, I'm Carol Keller, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Illinois in the United States, and I have for you today uh, some alternative cards for this month's paper pumpkin kit, which is called Key to My Heart. I hope you like them. Let's get started. Okay, here is a quick peek at the kit. This month it comes with a fresh freesia ink spot, and the stamps are mostly mounted because actually on the second card, or I guess in between both cards that I've designed for today, I will have used all of the stamps, including this one. So there's a key and a lock, and then just a design that you could use to make a lock, which we're going to do some hearts, the inside of the, the keyhole, and then some sentiments to my Valentine. I love you, love is the key, and you hold the key to my heart. There is an add-on this month, which is the heart boxes. And they're heart-shaped, and then inside there's actually a rectangular space that you can use to put sweets or candies of some kind. So if you're interested in that, check that out. And then, of course, a little sneak peek for next month's kit, which I'm so excited about because for the first time ever, there are companion dies that go with the kit and they are available right now. So if you need help in ordering those, just reach out and let me know. I'm very excited about that. And it also coordinates with the Playing in the Rain suite in the mini catalog, the new mini catalog that just came out. And the kit does make nine cards. Let me pull out, if I can find it, I forgot to do that. Oh, it's here, that's why I can't find it. These are the cards that you can make with the kit, and they are really pretty. I really like them. It was hard to even think about making alternatives because I loved the cards that came with the kit, but I did make two, like I said. Remember always to double check that you have all of your supplies that come with the kit, and then this one inspired me for my first card that we're gonna make today, and I honestly, they use the envelope here, but I didn't even look closely enough to see that when I designed mine, but I did use the envelope. And then the second card uses just the stamps so that if you wanna make the cards as is, you can still make more cards using the stamp set. All right, so let's get started with that. Here is the card that I designed, the first one. And like I said, it uses the envelope because if you've watched any of my other videos before, you know I love to do that. So I will bring it in and show you what I did. Here is one of the envelopes, and I loved it. I love the design with the keys. So the first thing I did was just take it apart. This is the easiest way to do it because it doesn't tear. When I did the first one, I tore it a little bit because I forgot to do it this way. So if you just put it in the channel right at the edge, then you just take off the tiniest little snip, and then your card opens up. So we're gonna cut off the sections that we don't need. We're gonna cut it down to size. And in this case, it's four inches by five and a quarter inches because we're gonna make it so that um, there's a mat behind it. So let's see, we can do four inches this way. And I wanted to use the, as much of the dark as possible, so I'm gonna take off some of the light and we'll measure that at five and a quarter inches. And now we have our surface that we're gonna work with, our pattern paper. I am using also a basic white card base. And then I took one of the cards from the kit and I cut this side off to use it as the background. If you wanted to keep the card whole, you just use a piece of fresh freesia and you can still make the card that comes with the kit because we're keeping that part. You could just put it on a basic white card base if you wanted to. And the only thing is for what we used with the lock and key, those would not be obviously available to use on the cards if you do this alternative. But you'll see, like I said, for the next one, that that won't be the case. You can make as many of the next one as you want and you won't be, well, not quite as many. I'll be using some labels from the kit, but other than that, and you could certainly substitute another label if you want, but you could make lots and lots of cards if you want to. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and put it on the card front with some multi-purpose liquid glue. Okay. 
All right, next we're gonna do some stamping. So I'm gonna bring in my Fresh Freesia because that's all we used, even on the inside of the card. So we're gonna start with those hearts. And I am gonna bring in a scrap since we will be going off that pattern paper just a little bit. So I'm gonna bring in a scrap like this. And the heart stamp from the set, from the kit. And we're gonna stamp that three times, re-inking each time. So one, two, and three. And then we're gonna do it also on the inside of the card. We don't need that anymore. We're gonna pull the inside and you'll see I did it on the left-hand side. I like to do that to add just a little bit more. Step it up just a little bit. And there's our heart stamp. And actually while we're doing the inside, we'll do the rest. We'll do the lock and key. So the lock, like this. And then the key. And all I did was line up the hole so that it looks like it's attached to the lock. And for the envelope, we're gonna do the same thing. So let me bring in a blank envelope and I'm using another envelope from the set so that it all coordinates. You don't have to do that if you wanna make more of these cards. Although again, you're limited by how many locks there are, but if you wanted to use it, you could and then just use a white envelope. But we're gonna bring in that same lock stamp and do it this way. And then for the key, we're gonna do it on the other side, like this. I also did the hearts on the back. We're gonna fold the flap and do it in the middle, overlapping the flap and the base of the envelope, turning it a little bit and doing one on each side. So our envelope is done. And then we just have our sentiments. So on the front, I put two stamps together to my Valentine and I love you. And all I did was lay one out, lay the other one so it looks straight. And then on my scrap paper, stamped it and made adjustments until they both were straight with each other. So then we just ink it up and put it Actually, you know what, before I do that, let's wait on that because I wanna make sure that it is straight. We're gonna do some of the other things first, including stamping on the inside. So we've got that wonderful sentiment. You hold the key to my heart and that's what we're gonna put on the inside. So the inside is done. And it is really important too it to stamp the hearts before you put the front on and start using dimensionals because if you go to do it at the end you will have issues with the surface being uneven and then it won't stamp the way you want it to so note that so let's do this let's assemble the rest of it so i have the key and the lock from the set and you just have to punch out the middle parts and there is some twine that comes with the kit but it's calypso coral and i wanted to use some of the gold. I wanted to bring out the gold in this and then we added some gold accents. So one of those accents is the Simply Elegant Trim. It comes in silver and gold. So we're going to use the gold. And all I did was thread one or thread it both through both of the openings here and then tie a bow. Again, if you've watched my videos before, you know I like to work off the roll so that's what I did in this case. Let's see if I can do it on camera. Might need a little longer than that. Let's see. Ah, the pressure of being on camera. I do want it a little longer. There we go, I think that'll be better. Come on, there we go. So I'm just going to adjust my bow. So 
not wanting to stay tied. Now I'm making it look much harder than it is. <laughs> but this is a little finicky, this trim. It doesn't stay together as well as some of the other ones do, but it is fine. All right, so yes, that's all I do is just adjust and adjust, make them smaller and pull tighter till I get it the way I want it, which I think that is good. So I'm going to snip off an end now and move this out of the way. And then that's gonna go in the corner. And it is nice and tight now. So I'm gonna move it to the side just a little bit and let it kind of be floating free. But what I did do was put dimensionals on the back of the lock and there are dimensionals that come with the kit. So we're gonna put a few And for this part, I just used, I've got an end here. I always use the edges. And so I'm gonna take a piece of that, probably cut it in half. Cause I don't think I need the whole thing. And place it over the trim and over the lock and the key pieces to help hold them down. And we'll take the paper off and then place it right in the corner. We're also going to put some ribbon. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for now, just to be on the safe side. So I've got some fresh Freesia open weave ribbon and I'm gonna grab glue dots. And there are some that come with the kit, but I just have these handy, my mini glue dots off the roll, but you can use either one. And we're just going to put it to the back and then snip it and pop a glue down on that side. And it'll go right under the hearts. And now we can put it on the card front. And actually I probably, again, should have done that before I put the lock and key on, but I don't think it'll make too much difference for this. I mean, I can feel that it's sort of bumpy because it um, is taller where the, the key is that has the dimensionals, but it shouldn't matter really. And we'll place it here. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. I did also then put a glue dot underneath here to hold it in place. Just using my fingernail to get it there. And then I'm gonna make a bow from the ribbon Again, just working off the roll. Hopefully this will be quicker than the other one. <laughs> but I use the same procedure every time. Make the bow. And then adjust the loops according to how big I want it to be. And then give it a snip. And I'll snip both ends at an angle. So I just think that looks nicer. And then we'll move that out of the way. And I can decide which way I want the bow to go. I think this way. And I'm just gonna put a glue down on the back. And if I were using the ones from the kit, I'd probably put two just because they're a little smaller. And then that goes right over that glue dot to hide it. And so it looks like we tied it around the ribbon completely, or around the pattern paper, I mean, but we didn't. If you wanted to, you could use more to fasten it down, but I like the look of it kind of free floating there. And now we're gonna do the rest of the stamping. So I'm gonna bring in that fresh freesia and our sentiment to my Valentine and I love you. And now we'll put it here so we know that it's in the right spot. And so I like that it's on the lighter end of the ombre too. And so now all we have to do is put on some bling. For the bling, I'm using the pastel pearls, whoops, and the brushed metallic adhesive back dots because I wanted gold 
but I didn't want just gold. I wanted some of that fresh freesia. So I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. And this might not even be, I don't think this even is fresh freesia because these are old in colors, some of them too. I think it's actually meant to be Highland Heather. But I love that you can coordinate either way. Take the brush of metallic dots. It doesn't have to be the same color. You can find a similar color. I'll use a small one for up here. So there are similar colors that coordinate nicely. Like I said, I'm pretty sure, I know this is Gorgeous Grape. I'm 99% sure that's actually meant to be Highland Heather, but you can see it coordinates beautifully with the fresh freesia. So don't be afraid to look in your stash and find colors that may not be called the same, but they coordinate well. Okay, so that is card number one. Here is the other card that I made. And again, I used some other items from other stamp sets and, or I guess probably not stamp sets, but just die cuts. Everything, all of the stamps, again, come from the kit, but some die cuts. And I did use one of the backsides of one of the cards. And you do have your choice because there are two cards in the kit that have the same, this is petal pink. So this card and also this one. So you could use either one, but I will caution you because this one has the fresh freesia on the inside because it's meant to go with this card. So if you don't want to waste that, if you want to use, maybe make this card, then use this one because there's nothing on the back side. So just like before, I just am going to cut it in half and use this half. So now I've got my layer, my first layer. And we are going to be stamping on this. So I think we'll start with this. And I'm using most of the stamps from the set. So I'm starting with, I found that the easiest way to start with, I wanted to make my own lock. That's, let me say that first. When I saw this stamp, it's used on the locks that are already die cut. And so I thought, okay, let me see if I can make my own. And I found that I could. And how I got the handle was actually using the lock. So I'm using just this part of it. And the easiest thing that I found was to stamp this first and then line up the circle with it. I found that easier because it's a little bit darker for the most part, so you can see it better. So I kind of look to see where I want this to be. I started with the middle one and I'm going to do the handle in, or the top of the lock, I guess, in Mango Melody. So I'm gonna bring that in. And I just wanna stamp the edge of it and that's how I did it you could also use our wonderful masking paper if you wanted to but I think this works and you can look and see that this part is stamped and the rest is not so we'll move that out of the way and stamp it about here and then we're going to take fresh freesia and stamp this and you want to have it oriented the right way so that you can put the keyhole inside. So keep that in mind when you're stamping. And it's harder to see like this, but yeah, I think that's lined up. And it is. And then while we've got the Mango Melody, we're gonna take the keyhole and stamp that as well. And so our first lock is done. Make sure though that you clean your stamps in between. And I think, well, maybe we'll do the fresh freesia. So let me clean my stamps and I'll be right. right. Next, we'll do the left one. So we're gonna start again with that lock and the fresh freesia and ink it up. I'm just looking to see that I've gotten to the edge as close as possible. You can always go back, get a little deeper. I think that's better. And we're just gonna put it right next door to the first one. And I'm taking Calypso Coral to do the body of the lock. And those are going right next to each other. And then last but not least, the keyhole. So lock number two is done. And I'm going to clean the stamps again and be right back. All right, and for lock number three, we are starting with the Calypso Coral handle it's not inking evenly I'm going to move it this way 
I think that looks better. And then Mango Melody for the body of the lock. And then the Keyhole in Calypso Coral. So now the hard part is done. We have our locks and on the inside, I stamped again to my Valentine, I love you in the Calypso Coral. So while we have that, I'm going to do that. So I've got to bring in my basic white card base. And this time I stamped the hearts in Mango Melody underneath. We'll bring that back in. And I think that's all I did on the inside, yes. So the inside is done. And the only other thing we have left to stamp is the label on the front. And I used this one. So there are four of those and four of these, and you could even use these. So there are 12 all together. And of course, you could just cut a basic white strip, especially since the outside edge is the same color as the background of the card, which is petal pink. So it does get lost in there a little bit. So you could easily just cut a strip of basic white and use that. But we're gonna bring in Fresh Freesia and our sentiment, love is the key. And we'll move this aside for right now. And now for the rest, I die cut some hearts from the Brushed Shapes dies. And I did put adhesive sheets on the back first. It's less important for the small hearts, but it is nice for the large one. So I die cut that in Calypso Coral, Mango Melody, Fresh Freesia, the same colors that we've been using. And then in addition to that, I stamped the keys in this is Mango Melody on Mango Melody in Fresh Freesia on Fresh Freesia in Petal Pink on Petal Pink because I didn't want to use the Calypso Coral again since I wanted some contrast with that. And I cut them out, I fussy cut them. And for the centers to cut them out, I was trying to think how can I do that so we can loop some twine through it. And what I discovered is that the pansy dies have, whoops, this little piece that cuts out three of these teardrops and it's meant to be this part of the flower. So it does cut three at once and the way I cut them out, I did not do all three at once, but I did do two. I fussy cut them out and then I laid the die over like this, over two of them and ran them through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then I went in and ran the third through because I wasn't sure if they would all line up correctly. So I did that just to be on the safe side. And that was how I ended up with my three keys. So let's finish our assembly. So I'm taking my multi-purpose liquid glue. And then A little something there it looks like. What is that? I'm not quite sure but we're gonna go with it anyway because mostly it'll be covered up. So I'm gonna take my adhesive sheet backing off of the heart. You can use your fingers or you take your pick tool. Well maybe we're gonna use the take your pick tool. Sometimes you can get a starting point with your fingers and sometimes not. But this will do it. And we're going to put that in the center. And I thought about bumping this up with dimensionals, but then I had the adhesive sheets on the back, so I didn't want to. And I wanted the heart to be the focal point. So I decided that I did not want dimensionals on the sentiment. And we'll put that up here. 
And I think I'm gonna see if I can get that off of an eraser. I'm not quite sure what it is. So let me work on that and I'll be right back. All right, much better. It must've been a little bit of a pencil line, so I got that off of there. And now again, we're gonna put the hearts on. You can see here at the edge, has a section that doesn't have adhesive sheet, so it's very easy to peel. And this one does not, but it's coming off quickly too. And then for the keys, again, the kit does come with twine. So maybe I'll use that. I used the white, so I kind of forgot about this. So let's use the Calypso Coral because it does match the heart and it comes with the kit easy peasy but if you want the white it comes in a pack with other neutrals and is in the catalog and I just layered them and put the twine through and just like earlier I just tied a bow Let's see how this one goes. I like to do it on camera because I don't want people to be afraid of tying bows. Sometimes it just takes a second try, but it's usually not too bad. These are small, small loops, so that makes it a little more challenging. Let's see if I can get it through there. Yeah, I need to make the loop bigger. The bigger the loop, the easier it is to tie it. Let's try that again. Of course, it's getting caught around the keys. <laughs> Note to self, maybe I do want to cut this down. Here we go. There we go. And again, move the, the loops a little bit and get it nice and tight and then snip it. All right. Yeah, I think I do. Well, I like the white too because there's white in the label. So either one I think works. And for this, what I did was take those wonderful little mini glue dots that come with the kit. And we're gonna put those, cause they're nice and small. We're gonna put those on the bottom of each of the keys. And actually I had some, I had stamped these on some cardstock that had adhesive sheets on the back. So for a couple of these, I'm just gonna peel. I don't need to put the glue dots on there, but if you don't do that, then what you're gonna do is just put a little glue dot on the bottom of each key. All right, this adhesive is not cooperating. There we go. And so I just need a glue dot on the back of the petal pink one, but you would put one on all three. And I'll show you why in a minute. Take that backing off. Because this way you can lay the keys out and make sure that they all show. So if you put the glue dot on the bottom, you can place them so that they stay in one spot. And so I'm gonna put this Oh, and you need a glue dot again on the back of the bow. So let's grab that. It helps it to stay tied and it also keeps it in place. Take the backing off. And now we'll put that bow right in the center of the heart and layering the keys. We'll move them to the side a little bit and then we press those glue dots down or in this case, I've got, like I said, some adhesive sheets and there we go. And then just a little more bling. Now for this one, I used the Iridescent Pearls Basic Jewels and I'm using the larger ones, but you can see they're not white. I wanted to match the colors, so I'm bringing in my blends. So I've got my Dark Fresh Freesia and I'm using the thicker end, color one. And then I've got Dark Calypso Coral Again, I wanted to match the colors that are that I'm using on the card. But then for the Mango Melody, I don't have a Mango Melody blend. I don't think there even is one, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think it would be probably too light. I tried several of them. I tried Petal Pink. 
I tried the light pumpkin pie. They just didn't show. They didn't color the pearl enough to really show. So what I found did work was the dark pumpkin pie. And even then it's still pretty light. So it looks very close to Mango Melody. So like I said, just kind of adapting and using what you have, it will still work. Then I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool and I just left it for a couple of seconds to dry. It's pretty quick. And we're gonna place the pearls around the card. And so obviously you can color them any color you need. I love that. It coordinates with whatever you're doing. And there is card number two. I hope you like them. What do you think? Let me know in the comments which twine you like better. Do you like the little contrast or do you like the fact that it coordinates with the heart behind it? And I'm going to bring in card number one, which is this one. And again, I hope you like them. Thank you so much for joining me every month. I apologize that I missed last month, but with the holidays, it was just too crazy. I was, my Christmas cards were late and I knew I would never have time to do that and paper pumpkin alternatives. So I did not get to it last month, but I'm happy to be here this month with these alternatives. So yes, let me know what you think in the comments. Give me some love. I appreciate you watching every month. Remember to check out my other videos tips, techniques, other cards, scrapbook pages, home decor items. I have a lot of beginner videos now that are up on my channel, so check all of those out. And then please join me again next month for the next alternative cards for the February kit, which I'm really excited to get, especially with those dies. Thanks for joining me. Happy stamping!